ask both of you as well about a contentious issue, and that is the question of waiving patent protections for the vaccines. And as we know, President Biden has called for that, and yet some of the European nations have argued that this isn't going to do much quickly to actually increase the supply. Uh, Jose Manuel, how do you think about that? Do you think that could be a useful tool? Where do you kind of stand on that issue? Look, uh, very frankly, uh, in Gavi, there are different positions on that. So I cannot uh, give you an answer on behalf of Gavi, because on Gavi, you have different countries with different perspectives. Uh, one point is important, I think, to say. Everything that is to get quicker, we will support. But the issue is more complex than the simple waiving of patents. Uh, the issue is also know-how, the transfer of know-how. Because to make a vaccine is a very complex issue. It's a, a vaccine is not just a product, it's a process that requires extremely complex uh, supply chain and manufacturing capabilities, know-how. So uh, in case we want to accelerate, we need to do that also with uh, uh, not only the waiving of patents, but also uh, with the transfer of uh, technology and know-how. I personally, but now I'm speaking to you personally, I've been making some appeals for that waiving of patents well before this situation now. But uh, for this current pandemic, we cannot expect this to be the solution immediately. Because first of all, we need to have an agreement on WTO that will take time. And also, some of these technologies, they will take several years to be, to be um, let's say, distributed and implemented in some developing countries. There are some very interesting programs, for instance, the European Union has some important programs of uh, uh, creating manufacturing capacity in Africa. We believe diversification of, of production is extremely important, but frankly, we, we cannot think that now the simple waiving of patents will be a miracle in this situation. It's a great, great gesture. We welcome the idea, uh, but, uh, but I believe we have to go beyond that and it will take some time. So now the priority should be uh, sharing doses, more financing for the existing vaccines, and also putting an end to uh, export restrictions. This should be the priority if you want to beat this virus. Yeah, Paige, Alan, let me yeah, let me just build on that. I, I um, you too, yes. Thanks. What, what we have is not a shortage of intellectual property. What we have is a supply chain constraint. And uh, what we've learned in our own supply chain for simple consumer products is that the most robust, the most resilient, and the most efficient supply chains are supply chains that are globally interconnected. So we were able to continue to manufacture and supply essential goods all through the pandemic with a very high rate of uh, service, not because we retreated to some crazy nationally insulated set of supply chains around the world, but be precisely because we had a globally networked supply chain with multiple points of redundancy, uh, several points of backup. And um, it strikes me with a private sector perspective that that's exactly what we need for vaccines. We need a flexible, super efficient supply chain uh, that is globally connected and that's the challenge much more so than one of intellectual property in fact i think the whole world has been stunned at the medical miracle of how quickly and how many different vaccine technologies have been uh, brought to the fore so what we need is money and supply chain know-how 